and welcome to the C Team Plays. I'm Mike Curley. And this is Frank Curley. And today we're starting on uh, Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark. It's a uh, turn based tactical RPG that came out a couple years ago. And it's kind of uh, Final Fantasy Tactics with about 20 years worth of quality of life improvements. Now, I have not played this game, Mike has. Yeah, I played through it on the Switch, uh, but this has some. Uh, DLC on it that I did not have at the time, so we'll see what that looks up like, and uh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, like I said, it has a bunch of quality of life improvements, including a whole lot of options. So you can do casual, story, beginner, veteran. Oh, well, I haven't touched this, so I'll, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah, very hard. It's like, yeah, the enemies are just better than you. <laughs> the main thing is veteran. You can see the uh, everything is just the base game. Okay, so, so this is normal, quote unquote. Yeah, okay. this is yeah, this is normal where the enemies will, you know, be uh, around your level, give or take, and we'll have roughly about as many abilities as you would have. Okay. Uh, now, is there like a permadeath thing? No. Okay. Good. What happens is if you get... This is the injury system. The character falls in combat. They get an injury. And that injury stays until they rest for a full battle. And okay. that means, like, you, you run through a battle without them. So this is why, you know, this is a good reason to have, like, a couple extra team yeah, members to swap right. out. Yeah, X XCOM is very much like that. Yeah. And there are items and abilities in certain classes that don't get injuries. So you can... There's ways around it. Got the story here. In the dark days of centuries past, another worldly beast known as the Ma appeared in Tiora, leaving ruin in its wake. In this time of need, seven great heroes rose against the threat. The battle was fierce, but. The heroes prevailed, and the beast was vanquished. In slaying the beast, the heroes gained the power of immortality. They formed the Council of Immortals to rule over the land and enforce order to prevent such a catastrophe from ever happening again. But powerful as the immortals may be, they are few. Thus, they created the Order of Arbiters to enforce their will and protect the land. As agents of the Immortals, Arbiters wield absolute authority. They are judge, jury, and executioner. But in time, the Order of Arbiters has grown complacent and corrupted. Like the threat as dire mm -hmm. as the ancient beast itself be looming over Tiora? No, I'm sure it couldn't. Yeah, Judge Judy and Executioner, never a bad idea. So this kind of gives you an idea of the style of it. Yeah, three-quarter perspective. Oh, good, good sprites, actually. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, so the blue-haired one is kind of the... Uh, yeah, she's the captain. Mentor. This one is the young one. So it drops you kind of right into a fight. Oh, that's good. We're not, a, yeah. For a moment. Or an outright murder. Yeah, there is that. Very modern looking barrel. Yeah. Is it kind of like a steampunkish kind of kind of yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Mostly fantasy, but yeah, well you'll see. All right. Mm. Yeah, and this is, he's, he's a rich asshole. Really? I thought he was going to be the hero of this. Mm. Look at that mustache. You can't trust a mustache like that. <laughs> uh, 
I, I see we have uh, Che Guevara's sister. Yeah, a lot of the enemies are kind of randomly generated. Beautiful. And yeah. Okay, so I guess we pick a... Yeah, you have a couple allies that uh, you can choose for this. All right, so, so it's one character at a time, not one side. Right, oh, yeah. Okay. Right at the top of the screen, you can see that's the, the order. And some, some of my favorite abilities in this game affect that order. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, there's the main mercenary class gets an attack that basically, if someone's about to go, knocks them back to the bottom of the order. So. Huh. So. Cannot, cannot see what's behind the switch. I mean, you can move it. Yeah. Okay, so... All right, so... Uh, okay, so up is to the right, and right is bottom. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so... So you have Virgil and Lana, so your wizard and your healer. Uh, yeah, let's go with the wizard. Okay, all right, so... Oh, I see you're picking character. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, actually, he looks different than... I think he did in my playthrough. My original playthrough, I think he was red. Okay. But, yeah, and you, you pick which direction you're facing matters. Uh, okay, okay. And you can see when you put him, he's he goes after the higher link. Yeah, the other things you could do, you can go to the troops menu, you can do a bunch of stuff. Okay. It gives you a lot of leeway to change things up before the fight actually starts. Oh, I see. I, 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 see the, I did see the unit limit. Yeah. Okay. I already laid out your weapons and surrender. Now. Yeah, she's she's serious. Serious face. Mm -hmm. More tiresome than I thought. You didn't even bother to learn this guy's name. Not that it matters, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Employee A, go go. Yeah. Holy magic, force field. Or no, sorry. Anyway. Yeah, she has some holy magic. Venetia, so I guess the first order of business is move and attack. Yep. So, let's see. And, yeah, the only ability she has in her Warcraft, and a lot of these don't have an MP cost. It, as a result, it has reduced damage, but. Now, isn't that attack ends the turn? In this case? Um, I forget. Alright, well, I guess we'll see. So, take 30 hit points off, but hit both of them. Oh. Huh. How'd you do that? That was the special ability I used. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so the way you face does affect your ability or your uh, defenses. Yeah. I'll have to remember that because I'm used to firing where that doesn't matter at all. Okay, so this one you can see she's only a mercenary. She doesn't have a subclass yet. Okay. So move and bash. Okay, the mustache. Yeah. And this one. Smack in the face. Yeah, she's got a hammer. Yeah, I was surprised at first that this game gives the main heroes just like a hammer and an axe to start with. Yeah. Now the well, in later, in later medieval uh, periods, you, you, you very rarely saw a sword on the field because everyone was armored up. Most of yeah. the time, it was like maces. Okay, I forget. Okay, he does not have his passive abilities yet. Eventually, the wizard gets an ability where they will not hit their allies. Okay. And it's basic fire and water. All right, so area of effect. Don't, don't get your allies stuck in there. Um. Okay, this will take him out. Who's ready for a bath? Oh, I forgot to kill, kill the higher one. Hold on. Yeah, as far as it, Yeah, this is the other thing. It shows you all the AP you get for everybody. Okay. Right. And you get a bonus if your main character, Kyrie, doesn't get knocked out. 
Oh, and your bench units get ability points too. So okay, so so no one's gonna gonna fall behind. Yeah, they might fall behind in levels, but not in ability points so much. Okay. Now, oh, here's the guy who missed the battle. Ladies. Yeah, like I said, rich asshole. Yeah. <sighs> so many remarks I can make right now. Yeah, I know. A little <laughs> topical. She's she's she's. Kyrie is kind of like the one good. She's kind of like the Commissioner Gordon. There's there's a couple others you meet that are actually decent people. But yeah, like it said in the intro, the arbiter's little complacent and corrupt. Yeah, I I, I kind of saw the uh, kind of the side switching at some point. Yeah. Oh man, just honestly, I just throw this asshole in the river. Yeah. <laughs> Those intro said judge, jury, and executioner, and trust me, you would save yourself so much more trouble down the line. Uh. Uh. Well, it might be the point. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, this is a, she, Kyrie's a very by the book cop. Yeah. Very well. That's Frank. Frank will personally voice act this entire game. <laughs> the other one. Oh, that's right. We didn't kill her. Or him. Him or her. I would guess the gender is also randomized. Yeah. A so. lot of the story missions will be like the Yeah, mainly the, the, the jobs will be the same. Yeah. Yeah, red means there's gonna be a fight there, obviously. So I, I imagine this game is pretty linear. You know, For the most mission part, mission. Right. Uh, I mean, there are points where you can go around and you can find little side quests, usually like single battles or small plot lines. Right. Yeah, one of the things you could do is you could shop, go to the guild, and the guild is where you get your new characters. Yay! And unlike Final Fantasy Tactics, you can just uh, create them, basically. Okay. You get a level... Yeah, you can buy them based on the level, and it maxes out at what Kyrie's level is. Okay. And you can have them uh, basically up... Uh, you could pick their starting class, which includes any class you've unlocked, and it treats it as if they have leveled up to the point in that class. So they will get all the stat bonuses associated with it. Okay. Gives it a little bit of uh, randomness when you go around, so. Uh, hmm. Who do I want? Let's we'll see if we're doing our literary characters. And... Uh, I'll, I'll do a little little twist on one, because I kind of did Usagi before. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. First, I'm going to change the hat. Yeah, that's for one of the later game uh, classes.
Yeah, it doesn't really, like, you... These are all the, uh... Well, except for this one. Yeah. <laughs> these are all outfits of the classes. I think you do get more as the story progresses. Right. And you can change your equipment for... for characters as they go. Yeah, Original Sin 1, Divinity, Original Sin 1, had like that, where you had the separate character model and their portrait. The second one, uh, they do a better job of it. I think there are more in this than the last time I looked. I, I do like the variety of like the. I want to eat. <laughs> Shadowy person. Who never, yeah. Who never gave his uh, portrait. Say, doesn't really reflect, but I'll remember it. Can't always see what the actual difference is. Yeah. Sneaky, backstabby guy. Yeah, it's basically the rogue. Mender is the white mage. Wizard is the black mage. Mercenary. There's a lot more that we will get. Yeah, so, so we can do some more recruiting later down the line. So mercenary is all our melee guys, right? For the moment, yeah. Okay. And that one branches off into night and etc. Okay. Let's see. Literary character. First, I'm getting rid of the helmet. <laughs> because, like, that's under headwear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting rid of that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I do wish it would zoom in because sometimes it's like I can't tell the difference between the different eyes and yeah. you know, faces. Yeah, you might want to change the face because right now it's just like <laughs> Brock shedding and grin. Yeah. Yeah, but, um... Oh, screw it. I always default to this guy anyway. Who is this gonna be? Uh, good old Connor. Alright. Red hair, figure. Yeah. Right. Face is fine. Class hat. What is the class hat? That means, no. uh... Uh, yeah, that, basically, like I said, the costumes are the hats and the outfits of the different classes. Oh, you can give Malfurs, okay. Yeah. Hmm. That's what I should have done. Oh, well. I can change it later. Hmm. Uh, 
Maybe. Let's, let's, let's see what we got. Yeah, it's the mercenary outfit. Oh, there we go. Okay, what, what, we, what we do, we uh, get the color going. What the shades of blue we got? None. Cool. Um, You can always change it later. That costs yeah. something. Yeah, why not? Okay. Snobbish dog, don't I think. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to probably find just something just generic enough. Him. Um, eh, sure, we'll make him look like Solid Snake for absolutely no reason. You need uh, a name. Alright. Uh, go, uh, just, just put Connor, C O yeah. Okay. Do we want one more? Uh, no, I think that's good for now. Okay. That, yeah, I do have a... We need, plus, these cost money each time, so... Okay. okay. Alright. Onward to adventure. Uh, let's go into a shop. Make sure that people have stuff. He was always a sword guy. Alright, well. This job comes with the sword, right? Uh, I wouldn't be against a buckler. Alright. And we're rapidly running out of money. So, yeah, yeah, so whatever you need to do to get him going. Alright, so. I think we're good. Okay. We're almost broke, but we're good. Coast of industry. Alright. Let's see how, how long is this? Uh... Alright, so we got we got a few months. Yeah, we'll do this one. Okay, oh, she, what's happening? She could see the guy just barely on screen. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's someone on stage, right? Stand back, what are you talking about? Oh, and they got dogs. Oh, good boy. Oh, no, not, not good boys. Oh. We're gonna have to take them out. <laughs> Your Reiner is a little too cheerful sometimes. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh yeah, just uh, all that corruption they're talking about. Yep. I mean, yeah, you want you want to negotiate a little first before you accept any deal. Mm. No time to exchange banter. Just time to beat them up. This, this is what this is what we call counter offer. Yeah, counter offer. <laughs> I don't know. I could, I could use a good ass kicker. Yeah, yeah. See, if someone, if I was a guard, someone tried to bribe me, I'd just take the money and still arrest them. Yeah, I've I've but heard that the you know the policy to draw them in, or some places it's like, oh yeah, if you turn down a bribe, we'll give you double. Yeah. I might just I might be thinking of Discworld. I think uh, Coach Alara also had that uh, policy among their guards. You could try to bribe them, but then they'll be just more rich, and you're still arrested. Yeah. No survivors, no witnesses. Okay, that's funny. That's what my job is, too. Oh, a lizard. Where's the lizard? Uh, on the right there, on the wall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of little touches. Let's go. Okay, so... Okay, we got three people we can toss in, so... All right, go get, go get them, Connor. Make me proud. Yeah, let's see what the... So there is one thing I forgot to do. Yes, I know. What? Connor, what are you doing? That means he's in the fight. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, it looks like he's rehearsing Shakespeare. Okay, so yeah, a lot of... When you have enough ability points in a given class, it'll tell you. No. Right. So you can Power Strike or Mind Strike. And each class only has a few abilities, so you build them up really quickly. Okay, so, so probably this one is more applicable here. Okay. Yeah. And there is also just an option to just when you have enough points to just finish out the thing. Okay. Just to fill up. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, he wasn't in the fight because he was late. Yeah. yeah, and as you unlock abilities, that's how you unlock other classes. So see, now she has Scoundrel, Wizard. Okay, so everyone has access to different... Uh... Yeah. Okay. Okay, so right now, Connor and uh, Dame Kyra only have the minor stuff. The other thing you can do is, you notice she has secondary ability where she can take the night class which gives her other things she can do holy magic which is healing stuff or some scoundrel level so I'll switch her to chivalry uh, she did not have any of the passives or the reaction yet and her own class will just automatically put that in okay so he, he's roguish oh, he's yeah scoundrel. Yeah. Because I think it's... I forget if it's the Minder or the Wizard that is the first one, but you have to have a certain amount of levels in each to unlock them. And... Yeah, Alright. So that should do it. So now... So, yeah. So, you notice that uh, she has Wizard stuff now. Yep. So we kind of have all our bases covered. Okay. The other thing is, you start with zero magic points, and you they move up oh, as you with go. The, with, with each turn, I guess? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So you can't just blast someone. Yeah. First turn. Okay, so let's go tonight. And I keep forgetting that the right stick does not turn the camera. Let's see. Now, let's see, is our scoundrel squishy, or...? Um, not especially. Okay. But 
but you also don't necessarily want to expose everybody right out the, out the gate. Let's see, you can, can you see how far the enemies can go? Maybe highlight them. Sort of. Uh, and his turn. Like you see on their, the bottom left there, it shows you the their stats. stats. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think you explained this to me. Like, they, you have by default a certain number of potions at the beginning of each. Yeah, the number of potions and stuff you have recharges and is effectively infinite. So, this is what you, we have right now, and if we use all of these, we will have them back again the next fight. Huh. And the rock, what is... Nobody in the rock. Nobody in range for the rock. It was a big rock. Alright. Uh, right. Defend. Mm -hmm. Also oh. restores a little bit of hit points. Alright, so. Yeah, I imagine it would be more useful. I don't have abilities yet. So, just holy magic. Can just go where she can heal, where she needs to. Yeah. And just, just chill. Just, just stay in back and don't, don't hurt yourself. And I think... Okay, she does have a healing, so... I have a defensive formation. Yeah, that's the other thing. Some maps, enemies will spawn, and you can just stand there to stop them. <laughs> I gotta love that. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey. What can we do with our trickery? Yeah, dirty hat. Not blind on this. Okay, yeah, see, it, it tells you the percentage chance of doing all that stuff. And it doesn't look like it worked. Oh, well. No, oh, you, you dashed them, so. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Got him. So, any particular reason for not the uh, force of strike? It does a little less damage, and it just moves them a tile, which doesn't really do us much yeah. good here. Alright. Yeah, I always liked when you just have, like, your primary attack is just the main way of doing damage instead of, like, being covered with the special yeah. attacks. Now here, it might do more damage, both because it's from behind, and if you shove them into a wall, it doesn't okay, damage. Okay, right. <laughs> Boy. They'll probably get the most back here, but there. That's I figure. Okay. Who's going next? I also just don't want to put the okay, so the wizard right in the line of fire of everybody. Okay. Can you do the spell from there? I don't think it has enough uh, room. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't have a range. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yes, they've got a one, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, I'd be exposing her quite a bit. So you can. 
Can, can you heal uh, our rogue from there? No, not with that. Not without getting yeah, getting risky. Yeah. Try maybe. Alright, might be just better to just chill. Yeah, if you, that's the other thing you notice. Yeah. If I just hold there, she'll come up sooner. Uh -huh. Ooh. Yeah. You probably don't want to do forceful strike right there. That sounded pretty visceral. I mean, it's a hammer. So, yes, it's going to sound like that. Okay, let's see. I mean, he will be coming up soonish. So, yeah. is guaranteed damage, so it's actually pretty good. So yeah, that is a reaction ability. What it means is... If you attack, you get hit? Yeah. Okay. Important thing is, our healer is protected. Hmm. I thought the healing was going to do two people, but I guess not. Uh, this might actually be better. Yeah, she's got the chance. She and she's in the way. Yeah, she's gonna have to tank. I am impressed by the sprite work. It, like, with, like for, for indie games and like the and like character customization, it's. I found they, they usually go for like the uh, big head chippy look. Yeah. So, so it's nice to see that they didn't go, take that direction. Uh, is that the thorns? Yeah, the thorns don't do a lot. Well, yeah, it's, it's always going to be like just chip damage. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do with the the hammer lady right behind her? Eh. They missed last time. They can miss next time. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore you. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Actually, my... 
Oh, is it only like one rock per side? Per, per battle. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's not per character. Right. Uh, okay. Okay. Drop the hammer. I'm gonna start clearing the decks a little bit here. Yeah. Bad dog. Oh, you can move after. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Wish I had known sooner. That's why I kind of like action points. Yeah, like in uh, Fallout, well, the original games, and. The Vinity original sin too. It, it, it's a bit bit clearer on like what you can do in a, in a given turn. I found. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, see, see the the timeline. You can see the little clock thing. That's that means that somebody's got to be up there to stop them from getting out. Okay. Here's a more orange. Out. Yeah. Like, I always found, like, the worst part of the Fire Emblem games is when... is when the the enemies get new new units at the beginning of their turn. Yeah. I always thought that was, that was pretty cheap. It, it, it led to some, you know, deaths that I just could not prepare for. thing is just kind of a standard. Oh. Did she the missile the thorn or that that was just active. Was the other dog with the thorns? That was the other dog. Uh, okay. Uh, get out of the way. Oh, dang, I thought I had more. You built me in the back! Let's see. see, healing someone might be a good idea. Yeah, probably, uh, what's his face? He needs to heal. Yeah. The rogue's in danger. Uh, unheard of. I'm just gonna. get a little extra experience if you finish somebody off. Well, it's a juggling match that I always find myself in with games like these, you know, like Fire Emblem, where um, a, a lot of my decisions isn't, isn't necessarily the most expedient way to win a battle, but also to, you know, get the most experience out of someone. Like, there's a newbie class in Fire Emblem Sacred, Sacred Stones that one time I basically unequipped a tank character yeah. and had the newbie just keep throwing spears at, at an enemy <laughs> from the other side. So, yeah. so, so for like 
six or seven turns, I, you know, I, I just, you know, abused that for all it's worth. He wasn't hitting him, but he didn't need to. Let's see, dirty fighting. Does that take any, like, MP or anything like no. that? No. Okay. But it's, it's backstab oh, bonus. Or... There's, yeah, not explicitly. He does get, like, a backstab attack, but you notice it does do a little more damage. Yeah. His the scoundrel class does get, eventually, a backstab ability that does, like, triple damage from behind, but, like, almost no damage from the front. point is kind of like all over the place. You know? Yeah. And you are just gonna heal yourself if you are <laughs> bad shape. Clear. Where are we done with that? Yeah the next <laughs> one isn't coming up for a while so I can finish off the dog. Or almost finish off the dog. Or, oh, um, or you could crit him and do it. Drop the hammer again. Or grab one, or steal money. No, I'm just gonna hit him with the hammer. Yeah, hit him with the hammer, and then take the money. Yeah, I mean, you could always take it from the body. Yeah. Corpses don't have dodge roll. Yeah, this is one of those games where that status effects are going to make a big difference. Oh, yeah, yeah, Well, in these, in these games, I, I always, it's always... The most important part is who's... Which enemy is going next. Yeah, and there is a lot of control of the order of the turns. And this should... Yeah, let's shank them. We're good. Uh, victory. Snake bite oil. I forget if that poisons you or is. Oh, it's a component. That's right. Uh, so you don't just use that to rip off uh, customers, right? Oh, we've got a crossbow, shellac powder, and some gum. Yeah, there is a crafting system right. that we can go over next time. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, I've been Mike Curley. And this is Frank Curley. Tune in next time while you can continue playing Felseal Arbiter's Mark. <laughs>